Oh wow, what happened here? I'm refurbishing my pedal boat. The pedally part that goes right across here has four bearings. Uh, one here, 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 and there. The two bearings on the end are somehow miraculously functioning perfectly fine. I guess this cover protects them enough, but I, I, don't, I don't know. They seem to be fine. But the two that are here totally seized up. So I'm going to replace those with plastic ones. Take some plastic bearings that are basically open so water can splash into them. Because the potential problem with plastic bearings is they could heat up enough that uh, the plastic gets soft and then they would warp. So this blue thing here is the, the paddle wheel part with the, you know, the pedal parts and the paddles here. Now I need to replace this bearing and that one. And I, I built them on here. So like I put the bearing on, then built this part. So these bearings don't come off. And I'm not going to be able to just slip new bearings on like that. I'm going to have to do some trickiness. So I guess I need to start by cutting those off. Well, I guess I can just knock them out of the way until I have to deal with them. They don't have to be perfect bearings or anything. Like this thing rotates pretty slow. It just has to handle a decent amount of force, like leg pushing force. Almost. Do I file that or do I file these? I think I file these. I don't want to wreck that. right I need to leave uh, the blade thickness in there that's good for my outer ring I think no chance that's gonna fit maybe if I cut it in half this way oh excellent cool You should be able to make some roller pins on this. First, I need to make two of these, basically whittle them down until they fit snugly on opposite sides of this. Then they'll be the right size. And the other option is to get a measury thing and measure it. Okay, that's about right. Just in case I accidentally bump this. All right, Jamie, make sure it stays at that angle. Don't touch it! Well, I hope these fit in there. Well, I glued these rings on, and I glued some rings on the inside there. I'm a little skeptical about this glue holding, though. I don't know. Well, I guess I could just give it a try. See how it goes. Wow, that rolls real nice. Sweet. Alright, how do I connect this together? If I can get this guy on here, that'll help keep it from coming apart just in case anything comes unglued.
right, that should do it. I got the the edge off a pipe connector. All right, need glue. All right, one down. Man, that came out so good. This side looks like it might actually fit in there, yeah. Just have to trim around there a little bit because of this. The other side, uh, I'm gonna have to do a bit more fitting. I happen to have a three inch to four inch adapter, so I cut off the four inch side. I think that'll work. thing I want to do. I made this orange covery thing <clears throat> bigger than it needs to be and I'd like to shrink it a little. So like up here it goes all the way out to there. I take a couple inches off. Sheesh, maybe I didn't make it that much too big. It might not be worth. Ah, yeah, I'll just leave it. I think that sucker's ready for service again. I think I'm gonna leave the roof off it. It's kind of a pain in the butt. I do need to do some serious barnacle scraping down there. Hopefully those are all dead and will come off easily now that this thing's been out of the water for a while. I'll have to get this out of the canal for a real test, which means I have to move all those boats and crap. But in the meantime, I can do a quick little test. Ah, this is way smoother than it used to be. I think I'll have to bust him out tomorrow, start using them again. I think he's about due for a paint job too. <laughs> 